a few years, in 15 years, it went up almost six order, orders of magnitude. So the beauty of that is basically showing how Bitcoin is scaling up. So this concept of scale, it's incredible. It's not something that happens by chance. I challenge any other scientist coming here and telling me this is due to chance, I'm, uh, it's nothing, it's stupid. I want to see them trying to argue that. It, it's almost impossible. That is amazing, almost, I think I actually know assets on earth have has done that in the history of mankind but we, if he continues to do that you almost have could the secret to bitcoin's meteoric future not just be in its technology but in the same fundamental laws of math that shape our universe i'm telling you guys there is a plan for bitcoin but not a plan that any bank or hedge fund or dev team has drawn out it is a plan written in the mathematical code of our universe and today we're gonna be diving into the insights of Giovanni Santastasi, an astrophysicist with a unique perspective on Bitcoin. He's been buying Bitcoin since 2013, and ever since, Giovanni has observed a striking pattern in Bitcoin's movements, a pattern that resonates with the power laws, a set of principles that influence everything from galaxy formations to the growth rate of organisms. In fact, power laws can be observed in diverse ways, the orbits of planets, the density and growth of cities, the distribution of words and languages, and even govern or at least show a pattern in the size of animals on Earth and the frequency of DNA-based chemicals in every living organism. It's a principle that underpins the structure of our entire universe. And somehow, even though the power laws do not describe the growth pattern of the price of gold or the price of the S&P 500, Giovanni discovered that Bitcoin actually does follow the power laws. If you aren't a mathematician or a physicist like Giovanni, I will break down this discovery in today's video. And I'm not a mathematician or physicist either. To make today's video, I did a ton of research and in fact, I was learning along the way. This is a new concept to me as well, but I wanted to share with you all out there because this is such an interesting concept. As always, you can find all of the sources down in the description below. And before you ask, did this guy just draw a line through some data points in hopes to find a pattern? Did he do some cheap technical analysis? No, in fact, he actually discovered that Bitcoin too adhered to these power laws through rigorous use of the scientific method. As in any good application of the scientific method, you try to disprove the thesis instead of making the evidence fit into the thesis. The scientific method aims to get rid of personal bias. There are a lot of people out there that scream from the rooftops that Bitcoin is gonna hit a million dollars in 2030, or, you know, they just give their predictions and, you know, what does it come from their brain? Who knows where it comes from? However, this concept, this is the first rock solid piece of evidence that I have found that can actually offer us some tangible understanding of how Bitcoin is growing. So the most basic premise of the power law is that you take two variables and they're correlated together. So when you chart out Bitcoin on a log log scale, that means that the X represents a log and the Y axis represents a log. Then you get this positive correlation that actually looks just like a linear line going straight through the graph. And that is the gist. Bitcoin has adhered to these power laws for the last 15 years. So this is a pattern that Giovanni discovered inherent in the price of Bitcoin. And get this straight, Bitcoin isn't just a currency, it's a network. It's a global phenomenon where the popularity of Bitcoin correlates to its price growth. So in the realm of Bitcoin, Giovanni highlights the predictability of Bitcoin's price. People come in, that makes the price goes up, Bitcoin responds, you know, and so on and so on and so on. That is exactly the type of mechanism when you have a feedback loop like that, that creates power loss. So it's all consistent. It's a story. Show up when you have networks. But why would a digital currency follow a pattern so deeply ingrained in the natural world? It's not just a financial asset. It's a network. It's a system that grows, it evolves, it adapts, much like natural phenomena that are governed by power laws, such as how the population of a city adheres to these laws. I'm sure that you've heard before that the safety of Bitcoin as an asset relies on the public recognition backing it. I've heard that before. And this theory actually kind of freaks me out because it shows in math how predictable the trend actually is. So if Bitcoin's growth continues to align with these power laws, 
as it has consistently for the past 15 years, then its trajectory could be far from random. 10 years from now, you know, in 2033, if it continues to do that, you almost have a $1 million guaranteed Bitcoin. The power laws may not provide all of the answers, but they offer a lens to view Bitcoin's trajectory, not as a series of random jumps or what does this government have to say about it? Or what does this expert have to say about it? But as a path, guided by the same principles that shape our entire universe. But if you're interested in getting more in-depth explanations and more graphs like the ones we've seen today, Giovanni himself, he actually has an X account, BTC Power Laws. So when you're done with this video, after you've liked and subscribed this video, of course, go over to Giovanni's page and follow him because you'll just start getting in your feed more interesting insights about how the price of Bitcoin is correlated and shown through these power laws. As Giovanni reminds us on his website, the Bitcoin halvening event happens in around 70 days. And after that point, things are expected to get a lot crazier. Have a good one, guys. Take care.